Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own and then press play when you're ready to work on it with me. Let's start by reading the question. It says that the area of a rectangle is expressed by x to the fourth, so I have to write this down, x to the fourth minus 9y squared. Then the product of the length and the width of the rectangle could be expressed as which of the following. So we can go through each of these, right? We can distribute and find out which one matches, or you might recognize that this is the difference of two perfect squares. It's called the difference of two squares because we're subtracting, so we're finding the difference. And they're two perfect squares because the square root of x to the fourth right, is x squared. It has a perfect square root. And the square root of 9y squared is just um, 3y, right? 3y times 3y is 9y nine, nine squared. Then once you know that, the general form of the difference of two squares is to take the square root of the first number um, x squared, and then add it to the square root of the second number, and then multiply it by the square root of the first number minus the square root of the second number. And if we do the multiplication here, we can check that this does work. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x times negative 3y is minus 3x squared y. And here this opposite is also plus 3yx uh, squared. These are equal opposite terms. Talk about that in a second. And then 3y times negative 3y is negative 9y squared. So here, these two terms in the middle cancel out because even though the variables are in different orders, x squared times y, based on the commutative property of multiplication, equals y times x squared. And so even though the order is different, the result is the same. And one of these is positive, the other is negative, they're opposites, they add to zero. And all that's left is x squared minus 9y squared which is the correct initial expression. So here, when we go through our choices, the one that matches the closest to ours is this one. Just notice the two terms are in the opposite order of ours, and that's okay because, again, of the commutative property of multiplication. All right, thank you.